Hi everybody, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Again, using an old but current stamp set, using Beautiful You and the birds and the lighthouse come from Sailing Home. And these corner bits are my own. Um, I have already cut them out and they started off at that shape and I chopped them up a bit but I might on this card keep them whole we'll see so I'm using Sailing Home and I'm going to use the lighthouse and the birds beautiful you and I'm using her and I'm using high tide just for the water so all I want is the water which I haven't got out another well used set and it's time I've been sorting my stamps out and I haven't got very many current stamp sets anymore a lot of them are retired so, right, for your cards you need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. And this is a new colour, in colour. This is, I've got the pens here, so, Purple Posy. So, I'm using that. A piece of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. Pop that in there. I didn't do anything inside, did I? Oh, I did. Right, we'll get that stamp out in a minute. And a piece of card at four and a half by three inches. And that will go in the middle there. The outside, around the edge, I cut out from Sailing Home, I cut out this rope die here yeah. just to make a border around the outside you do have to snip it off a bit here and there but yeah I made that and I thought it looked quite nice I've cut four obviously because there's four sides And we'll stick them on like that. Full middle. Right. Also for the um, sentiment, I'm changing. I have cut these out from Sailing Home. I've cut four out and haven't used them yet. And I'm going to stamp the word thanks. And turn this into a thank you card. So that's what we're going to do. Don't need that. Right, to start off with, we need to stamp the girl. So with my black versifying ink, stamp her up, or ink her up, and stamp her down like that. I've got a funny feeling she's wonky. Oh, she's not. Is all I need the black for now. I have cut myself a mask so we will mask her up down and I'm going to be using smoky slate I'm going to ink up our lighthouse and we're going to stamp this so a hand comes across the lighthouse and I'm applying, applying extra pressure 
where it's stamping over the paper. Right, uh, next we're going to stamp the birds. I'm just going to put three birds there. And then we want to stamp some water. So now we need to mask the lighthouse. Get down. And with the water stamp from High Tide, that's got a bit of paper stuck to it, we are going to just apply some water. I think I actually stamped off on the last one. But it don't matter. Right, and while they're still down, we are going to do some sponging, brushing, daubering, whatever you want to do. I have got my blue brush and my green brush. And with balmy blue, some scrap paper, and my blue brush, just dab it in the ink, and I'm just going to go lightly in the sky. Don't want a lot. I need to go over the water as well. That is it. And I've got pear pizzazz here. And we're just going to go over the shore and just do some greenery. I'm going to lift this up a bit because we want some green around by the bottom of the lighthouse. So. grass isn't smooth so I've patted some down right and we take that off and that is our scene done all we've got to do now is colour the girl's dress and hat in which I am going to do in purple posy I've got light and dark purple posy and light petal pink. This is for her skin. So just a few shades or scrapes of the pen to colour her arms and legs in. And with the light Purple posy. We're going to colour a hat. And her dress. I'm not going to colour her a petticoat, her petticoat can stay white. A friend of mine used to call them underskirts. My mum always called them petticoats. 
Right, I'm using dark just to go where her creases are. It's a shading. There we are. And that is our young lady coloured in and our scene for our card. So all we have to do now is stick it down on there. Take that out. Right, I'm going to glue the back. Well, you're clever and you've got to be able to see straight and evenly. Hmm. Don't know if I can lift that. Yeah. Let me just bring it up a little bit. happy with that one. Now with these grey pieces, my grey bits of rope, what I did is just run some glue over it and run it down the edge of the card. And with my scissors just snipped it. At the edge. Do the same with this one. And just snip it at the edge. Making sure I've got the right way there. Right. Now this one, I'm just going to go at a little angle. Just like that one did. That's been a bit far. It doesn't matter because my corners will hide it. And the last one. Just looks like a picture frame. Now these, I can either leave them as whole corners, which I think I will. Four of them. Hmm. 
Yeah, I will. <coughs> so I just need to glue them up. Just hides the tatty corners as well. Frames are off, a frame within a frame. That looks quite pretty. Right, for the sentiment, <coughs> got the word thanks, and I'm going to pop that there. I think, yeah. So I need some black ink. My word thanks and pop that. Yes, there. Right, do I want it there? Or there. I think I like it quite there. Yeah. And I'm going to put it up on dimensionals. Can't have a too flat a card, can we? large dimensionals on it and I'm going to place that there. but it's not straight I will get it where I want it in a minute. That's it. <laughs> now, 
I'm not going to put nothing in this because in the other one I put celebrate and I put live live with passion laugh out loud and love deeply which I don't think we really need that on a thank you card So there's my card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please um, subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.